folks, it's Bunny Love. Kanye West's Chick-fil-A inspired song gets fiery response from Burger King. Let me go ahead and just dive into this right now. After taking a 16-month hiatus, West released his first full-length album on Friday. The Jesus is King record features a track called Closed on Sunday, as inspired by Chick-fil-A's famous policy of being closed on the weekend day. The song sent Twitter users into a frenzy and even elicited a fiery reply from Burger King, with a spokesperson joking that their restaurant in comparison is always open on Sunday. After multiple delays and a promise to fans that his team would not sleep until this album is out, the Grammy winner's Jesus is King album finally dropped at noon on October 25th. The gospel rap album has been highly anticipated since West's wife, Kim Kardashian, tweeted a track list in September. And his amid Sunday service pop-ups, the celebrity couple previewed several last-minute listening parties in cities across the nation. The album dropped the same day an accompanying documentary hit IMAX theaters. And Closed on Sunday, West sings, Closed on Sunday, you my Chick-fil-A. Hold the selfies, put the gram away. Get your family, y'all hold hands and pray. Later, the 42-year-old rapper croons, Closed on Sunday, you my Chick-fil-A. You're my number one with the lemonade. Twitter users, meanwhile, reacted to the tune with a range of emotions. One user teased that song had a greater cultural impact than Mozart's last symphony, while another predicted the track would have Chick-fil-A owners dancing with a glee. Okay, you guys, so my commentary on the matter, I really do not think that Burger King's spokesperson's response on Twitter was all that serious. I do not consider it fiery. It was a joke. I think they were just playing around. I mean, I don't know. I was reading some stuff in the blogs and, you know, what I was reading, you know, they considered it fiery and it's like, it's not all that fiery. It was just a playful response, nothing heavy. Kanye, if he paid any attention to it, which he probably didn't, but if he did, he probably would take offense to that because he's just that type of person that takes offense to everything. <laughs> So, all right, you guys, um, that's pretty much all I wanted to say about this. Um, just wanted to put it out there. It was in the blogs and figured I'd do a story about it. Um, Jesus is King has been getting a lot of responses on Twitter, a um, lot of mixed responses. Some people hate it. Um, a lot of people love it. I'm sure Kanye's album, for the most part, is going to do well. I'm out of here, you guys. This is actually the shortest video I've ever done on any celebrity news. But this wasn't real big celebrity news because the statement made by the Burger King spokesperson was not really that big of a deal. I think they were just playing around. All right, folks, follow me on all social media platforms. The end of this video will have just where you can find me on the internet. Please do subscribe if you haven't already for more celebrity gossip talk. I will be uploading as much as possible. Any story that I come across, celebrity news, I will definitely do my best to bring it to you. As always, peace and blessings, you guys. Take care and thank you for watching.